We didn't even come out intending to make this video today, but we just got this uh, pull type snowblower or inverted snowblower hooked up. I had to try it out and turns out we decided to make a video. <laughs> so we're gonna go down to the shop where it's a little bit warmer, tell you all about this pull type snowblower. So stick around. You know the problem with most three-point snowblowers is the fact that you got to turn around and look like this while you're driving forward trying to see where you're going you're going backwards it's a really uncomfortable situation but this three-point snowblower right here changes the game if you find this video helpful would you give me a thumbs up and subscribe right down below if you want to see more helpful videos like this one and don't forget to read through that description below if you want more information on a snowblower like this or other cool tractor products or head on over to goodworkstractors.com I had no plans to do a video about this snowblower today. It just kind of worked out that way. Normally I'm a bit more organized. I'm still gonna try to give you all the information here, but you know, we went out. I just wanted to test this blower. We got it hooked up. I got my multiplier on here because I've got three different hydraulic outlets on this snowblower. So I had to have everything hooked up. I was so excited just to try it out and do a few passes. And then, you know, Chris there behind the camera said, why don't we just do a video about this? So we rolled with it, but that's why you see the snow covered on here. We'll get some good pictures so you can at least see a listing online of what it looks like without the snow all over it. This is set up uniquely. You don't have to get everything on here, all right? So you can have a manual shoot rotation, manual hydraulic deflector. You don't even need to have a back drag, anything. We're gonna go through it all. But this is a great setup here. You know, to mount it on your three-point hitch, I've got a snow pusher up front. You don't have to worry about driving backwards. You just drive right forward. One of the big questions on my mind and pretty much everybody else's mind is, how does that work exactly? You drive forward over the snow, you compact it down with your tractor tires, and then you expect the snow blower behind all that to peel it all up and blow it away? You'll see, we did several different areas up here in different sections of the lot where we drive over it and then the snow blower just comes right afterwards and peels it up and it goes flying away. Just like it's supposed to, it works really well. Behind the building up there, they really hadn't done much snow maintenance besides plowing one path to get to the garbage can and that way the the garbage man can get in and out. So it had been a lot of snow that kind of uh, was pushed to the side a little bit and then melted down, froze, more snow came down, that kind of thing. It had been sitting there for a long period of time. It wasn't like a fresh snow that just fell down and then you went out there to, to snow blow or snow plow and get rid of it. So there was a layer on the bottom there that was melted and really solid that this couldn't pick up, but that's to be expected. What we've got here is an MK Martin inverted or pull type snow blower meaning you drive forwards and not backwards. That's a key phrase right there. So this Meteor Series snowblower is gonna come in widths anywhere from as small as a 60 inch wide all the way out to a 97 inch wide snowblower with a lot of increments in between. So by inverted, that means the auger is gonna be right here facing the back of the tractor versus a traditional, your auger will be back here facing that away. You may be asking yourself, what's the big benefit of that? But if you've used a traditional three-point snowblower, you probably already know the benefit of something like this. But if you haven't, the main benefit is you can face this way instead of having to be turned this way the entire time you're blowing snow. I know a thought that might be kind of roaming around up in your head is why don't I just get a front mount snowblower? And for a lot of folks that are gonna run a dedicated snow machine in the winter time, that might be the solution if your tractor has that option you don't really have that option with a John Deere 4 series. So depending on what model you have or what series you have, you could if you wanted to. However, a lot of folks, myself included, need to use our front end loaders all year round, including the winter time. That's why I use a snow pusher mounted to the end of the loader arms. That way I can transition to a set of pallet forks or to my bucket or to a grapple very quickly. Instead of taking my entire loader off and putting a frame mount snowblower, for example, if you have the option, but you put a frame mount snowblower on, that means you have to run a PTO shaft back here. You're going to have either a quick hitch or some sort of a, a front three point hitch. It's just a lot more involved to transition from a frame mounted snowblower up front to your loader and then switch back to your snow setup after you're done with the loader. So it wastes a lot of time doing that. So that's where utilizing the three point hitch for a snowblower back there really makes sense for a lot of folks. 
Back to the features of the MK Martin. So number one, this comes with a two year limited warranty on the entire product here, as well as a five year gearbox warranty. So this is made in Canada, all right? They know a little bit about snow up there. I buy a lot of product from MK Martin and HLA, which is their sister company. These guys make pallet forks, box blades, snow pushers, snow blowers, all sorts of stuff. They do a really good job. I've never had a single warranty issue to date with any of their products. I'm sure it's gonna happen at some point. That's just the law of averages, right? But I've sold thousands of their products, so I just pointed out to give you an idea of how robust and how well-built their equipment is. If we talk about just the shoot, you are gonna have a lot of options to go over. We'll go over it briefly, but number one is you can have just a manual rotation, so no hydraulics, no electric, no anything else. You have a long rod that goes up, say you have an open station machine, you reach back, you crank it and it'll turn this way or that way. Of course, what you see on here is gonna be a hydraulic setup so that it'll hydraulically rotate left or right. You can get, pay attention if you don't have the additional hydraulics and electrical chute rotation as well. That is an option, pretty handy for a lot of folks. As far as the deflector goes, standard will be just, you know, a couple of knobs to manually adjust it how you want to, but what you'll see set up is gonna be a hydraulic deflector on on this uh, snowblower in general. You can get a version, I forget what it's called, but it's like a high dump version. So if you have like a big snow trailer that you're filling up, you can get one with a really tall chute and then you know have it just shoot right down into the, the trailer as well for snow collection. Now this is a pretty cool, unique feature that's found on this snowblower. This is a back drag. You can get this with a manual setup or again, a hydraulic setup. You don't need to, you don't need to have a back drag at all. It's an add-on. So you can get these snowblowers without this feature as well. Um, but it is a pretty cool setup here if you need to get up close to those buildings. Say you don't have a snow pusher on front and uh, you wanna have just one piece of snow removal equipment, get something like this on here. You can drop it down up by your garage doors or a retaining wall or a gate, whatever it is, and you can drop it down and pull that snow away and then just uh, raise up a little bit, back up a little bit, drop it down, and then you can blow your snow away. While we're here, let's take a look at these edges that are gonna be found on the snow blower. You do have standard setup with steel edges, but you can also get Tyvar, which is basically just UHMW or a poly that you can get for the back drag. You can get it for your skid runners. You can get it for the main blower edge as well. Now, for those of you not familiar, UHMW, Poly, Tyvar goes by a lot of names. But the point being, this stuff here protects like rubber, but cuts like steel. That's the easy way to sum it up. It's obviously very lightweight. You can drill it out like a piece of wood just to get your mounting holes. It's gonna last very long as well. I've done videos all about this material, but it's a very popular option for snow blowers, snow pushers, snow plows. So if we talk about things more towards the connection side of the snow blower, you will see there's a parking stand for when it is in storage and not in use. You'll also see this red uh, Spico quick hitch here that is uh, connected to it. That means it is quick hitch compatible. Uh, the Spico, of course, does not require bushings. I can sell this to you. It's the only quick hitch on the market right now that doesn't use bushings. So go to goodworkstractors.com to order yours. Now, now this is gonna be Cat 1 and Cat 2 three-point hitch compatible because you think about the size of this piece of equipment here and you're starting to get, to get into that size range where you're gonna be on large compacts or even small utility tractors. Now it is kind of hard to see or get a good look at this auger down below, but I really don't know how to sum it up. I'm not sure how you like gauge or grade an auger. All I can say is this thing is gigantic. It looks extremely rugged and really well built. You know, it probably doesn't do it justice in the video, but I think if you see it in person, it's pretty impressive. Now, of course, you have six hydraulic hoses that are coming off of this snowblower, which again, is not required, but it's part of the reason it took so long for me to get this set up on my tractor. I was waiting until I could get my uh, six position hydraulic multiplier installed on the tractor, which we just uh, finally got it done. So. This is a really cheap way to get a, a lot of additional hydraulic functions. You don't want to run every single function at the same time, but you don't really need to. You know, you might need to occasionally adjust your, your chute rotation left or right, or occasionally adjust the deflector, or occasionally raise and lower the back drag, but you don't need to do all of them at the same time, or even most of them at all. I mean, you're just doing them periodically at certain moments of time. So you need one rear outlet somewhere on your tractor, which is what this entire hydraulic circuit ties into. Just one hydraulic outlet that's existing on your tractor, and then you can multiply it. You can buy just one additional circuit, or you can buy a three-way, or a four-way, or a five-way, or a six-way. You have a lot of different options there, depending on how many hydraulic requirements you're going to need. So you can see there's a solenoid for each one of the hydraulic circuits, and you have a little control panel, basically just some switches inside 
inside the cab or if you're on an open station just mounted on a fender you select which circuit you want to control and then you use your existing lever or um, if you have a, a push button to control that circuit once you're done turn that circuit off and go on to the next one if you need to or just keep it turned off until you need to use it later on now besides looking pretty cool, this is about the cheapest way to get additional hydraulic capability on your tractor. To make it even more affordable, you get 5% off with code GWT. Link down below to Summit Hydraulics. Also, I forgot to mention, you don't have to get it in John Deere green. You can get it in a charcoal gray color, orange, a lot of different colors if you want a special order as well but i can tell you the charcoal gray is probably going to be the most common that is stocked uh, with green being a, probably a close second so keep that in mind if you want to get one ordered for next season for example just give yourself plenty of lead time so this orange thing is not a lightsaber but it's actually an indicator or a marker you mount this to the back drag and it's so that you can see from the operator station you're not able to physically see the back drag whatsoever you put the marker on there the indicator that way when you back up to a garage door a retaining wall a gate you can see how close you are without running into it. Okay, that's enough of a product overview. I think you get the idea. This is a pretty sweet setup here, but I probably forgot a few details. Again, this was kind of an off the cuff video that I made. So if I forgot something, just ask a question down below in the comments section or shoot me a quick email. So now that we've done a little bit of a product overview, does that change your perception or your mindset on what a three point snowblower is all about? Or do you need to see this thing in action? All right, all right, let's get to that now. What? this is a new experience it's been a long time coming i've been wanting to use one of these pull type snow blowers for at least a couple of years now so i'm i'm really happy really excited to be able to use it and kind of get to know how to operate this piece of equipment and share it with you guys as with any new piece of equipment there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve on finding the sweet spots and just how to operate it most efficiently but i think for a piece of equipment like this it's going to be a pretty short learning curve 
Now, if you enjoyed watching this video or you found it to be helpful, I'd really love to get a thumbs up from you right down below. And if you want to see more helpful videos like this one, hit that subscribe button as well. Now, don't forget, read through that description right underneath the video, places where you can get the UHMW Edge, the Snowblower, all sorts of cool tractor products, or head on over to GoodWorksTractors.com. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.